Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? Listen, I was on Twitter minding my business, being nosy, and I came across this Cocktails with Queens with the illustrious Claudia Jordan, but also Lisa Ray was on there running her mouth about what she thought about the whole texturism, blue ivy, saucy sultana thing. And y'all, you gotta hear this mess for yourself. Then meet me after the jump because we gotta discuss. Uh, you don't wanna know what I think. I do. You know I do. <laughs> Girl, here we go. Well, let me go. Let me get my little cheap wine. Cool. Ross <laughs> and he said that uh, about a uh, baby Bella. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl fight. He couldn't say that about baby Bella because she doesn't have nappy hair. Doesn't make a difference. It's a child. I'll but go, I know. I'll put that for two hundred. Okay. <laughs> You would have been through the, I think. Now, if y'all didn't know what that was in reference to, let me catch y'all up. Um, there's been a little girl embroiled in texturism where someone that has coarser hair then said little girl had the nerve to say the little girl wasn't attractive because she had quote unquote nappy hair. Somebody, of course, that had nappier hair than the little girl said it, but let's not even get down that. It's become a pop culture thing. Everybody's been commenting on it on Cocktails with Queens. Claudia Jordan asked the panel, what do y'all think? Vivica Foss said, what do you think about if it was Bella? Bella, if you don't know, is um, Lisa Ray's granddaughter, I believe. Lisa Ray, when talking about generational curses, trauma, hair texturalism, self-hate, it's a very nuanced co conversation. And Vivica Foss was like, what do you think about a grown man with said nappy your head, literally talking about um, a little girl, right? And she said, well, first of all, it wanted, he wouldn't have talked about her because she doesn't have nappy hair. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Whew. It's alive and well. And you know what? I do want to say this about Lisa Ray. She's done a lot. She's, you know, one of the OGs when it comes to acting and entertainment. And also, she is the product of when pretty privilege goes wrong. So here's the thing. There's something in people where they feel like if it doesn't apply to them, they really don't care. You think you're somehow cool because what, your granddaughter got Hawaiian silky hair just like you? But what about the granddaughter that don't come out like you? Why is not unless you're in somebody else's shoes, is it so hard to empathize and feel with somebody else? Why is it so hard to respect other people and show compassion? And why is it who Lisa Ray herself will say that she faced discrimination being a black woman in Hollywood? You turn around and as soon as you're on the side of, oh, you passed the paper bag test. Oh, you passed this test. You're just happy to be on the winning team. So what is it? Were you mad you were discriminated against or were you just mad that you weren't a white girl with blonde hair? Were you mad when you're pretty? And again, also, I don't understand why we play these games. I talked about this in my last video, but you know what? As black women, we do. And again, we're going to leave black men out of it because they got their own stuff and their own thing to be held accountable. But when it comes into what makes a pretty baby, what makes a beautiful woman, what makes someone that you would want to have as a grandbaby, want to have as a daughter-in-law, want to have as somebody having your grandchildren. We need to realize that some of these negative things we're perpetrating into our minds, our little boys and little girls' heads, literally start at home. And Lisa Ray, listen, yeah, I could say some smart stuff. Yeah, I could drag Lisa Ray, but at the end of the day, it's literally nothing but ignorance. And the fact that you see something happen that is affecting people, hurting people, is literally traumatizing the community. And you just chose to make snide remarks because that don't apply to you. But what happens when it does apply to you? Should we, should we go up in arms? Should we, should we literally uh, wrap around you like Voltron and take you to the next level? Honestly, this type of self-hate and self-loathing. And even though Lisa Ray thinks it doesn't apply to her, it is internalized hate. It is internalized loathing. It also is privilege. And it also is the fact that you delight in being better than other people. So when you're saying, oh, first of all, she wouldn't say that because she doesn't have nappy hair. Girl, I know what that tone was. You think you're better than everybody else because you got that silky hair. But what did that silky hair get you? 
Did it get you a husband that was faithful to you? You was literally marching with Reverend Al Sharpton and he tossed you aside. Did it get you anything more in life? How is that part of, again, 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 I'm not dragging Lisa Ray. I am just challenging her thought process on what's important to her, what makes people better than others, and how you could be so cruel to a little kid and basically agree with the person that's putting down a little kid and saying something that grows out of their hair and something that most black people share is ugly, is undesirable, is a no-go. But guess what? You're going to ride out with it because like you said, it don't apply to you. And if it don't apply to you and yours, then who cares? Listen, you better pray to God that Hawaiian silky lasts every generation. And honestly, I don't even want to think of the logical consequences to have a grandmother or a mother or an aunt that actually thinks like that. Again, these generational curses need to be broken. And also just lets us know just because somebody's accomplished something in their life, you just because they're beautiful, I just do. because you know I do. They're successful doesn't Girl, mean they know what go. they're talking about. It doesn't mean that they should be a thought leader or anything. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. mean yeah. that they got their minds that. any uh, better uh, off than the ignorant person oh. sitting on the bus stop Girl, sucking I, on the lollipop. Anyway, my little tiny let me know what you think of this and I will talk to you later. Bye.